Well, hey everybody, it's Paul. I think I just got battery enough for a quick story that happened today. This is one of these kitty tales, I'll call it. It's when you're watching a uh, cat sitting, and that's what we were doing today. And I'll have to cut in a picture to, to explain what I'm talking about. But my whole basement has a drywall ceiling, except for... The utility room where a lot of piping is i didn't want to cover that up and the wiring you know and such but the rest is solid dry just like your main floor in your house right but i have trusses so some way that we left the door open because that cat's curious it can if the door's not totally shut it can paw it open or it got in there some way it climbs this mountain of stuff i don't know how it did it but then it got up in the trusses and you could hear it like walking around and meowing up there. I'm like, oh my God, the thing, it has the whole floor plan, say of the house, the whole square footage, it's open trusses so it can walk around. But then there's vents and such that kind of make it like a maze. So, I mean, in essence, it probably could go one way and then not know how to get back, you know? And I'm like, and it's not like a dog, so, you, you know, you can call it. It's not going to come running to you. So it's like, oh, I'm thinking cutting these two-foot holes throughout the whole basement. It's like that's a major repair because I've got a nice swirl pattern uh, on my ceiling, you know, so you can't see any imperfections like drywall um, cracks or nail pops or not. It's just nice, you know. I'm thinking, oh, I will never be able to match that up. It's just going to be a disaster, a whole misery. Nothing's up there meowing. And Ben just loves that cat so much. And he's getting upset. And I'm getting upset because he's getting upset. And I am just, just seeing a nightmare. But eventually we heard him. He got over to like the side where the furnace is. And we got a ladder. And I was able to grab him just barely by his scruff before he got away. But... Well, I don't know, man. Cats are a lot of work. <laughs> you know, I, I guess I'm a dog guy. I've always had dogs that I've never had a dog that, you know, if it was out, if it was off the leash, anything, if I called, it'd come, you know. It'd tear through anything to get to me. That's how we raised them. And that's not how a cat works. They're wired different. So that was an experience, y'all. I'm telling you, wow. I don't know about cat people. You got to be really careful. Those things can get anywhere. I've always wondered, you know, where that uh, saying "curiosity killed the cat." Well, now I know. You always hear about like people their cat goes up in the tree and then they got to call a fire department or something to get it down. Well, now I know where you're coming from. Anyway, I'm gonna lose my battery. Till next time, guys. Thanks for all the support. We'll see us.